And welcome back, folks. Uh, Judy's a great guest, and, and she just had a lot of interesting things to share with us, and I thank her so much. There's a couple of things still going on that you might want to know about. Um, the uh, Bradley, Count Bradley Central High School Honor Society plans Reading with Santa event, and that is going to be on Thursday, this coming Thursday, from 6 to 8 in the Bradley High School Library, located just inside the front entrance of the school. Uh, you go down that sidewalk, and there's going to be the library, just, just right inside. And they, they're going to have a free book for every child that's there. Um, this is, uh, I, I read this article, and some of these people are um, pre-teachers. That's what they think they want to be. So they're, this is their organization that they're doing uh, to have a book in every child's hand, which is kind of like the Imagination Library, which I love, and I need to get somebody to come and talk about that for us after the first of the year. But this is going to be this Thursday, folks, from 6 to 8 at Bradley Central High School in their library. And you just, you don't have to sign up or anything, but if you have any questions, you can call 476-0650, 476-0650, or you can go to, now Hiawatha Brown is, a, is the sponsor of the Beta Club, or I'm sorry, the Honor Society, so H Brown at BradleySchools.org. H Brown at BradleySchools.org if you're interested in that event. I think that's going to be awesome. And every child that goes is going to get a book. And I think that's awesome too. So also if you're interested in donating to that event so that they can buy more books because they've not put a cap on how many kids can be there. So that is Thursday night and from six to eight. And it doesn't say you have to register or anything. So Show up over there with your child. Also on Thursday, December 20th at 1 p.m., uh, Garden Plaza, their, the Christmas story will be read by Pastor Gwen Green. And uh, they're inviting everyone to come at 1 o'clock to Garden Plaza to hear the reading of the Christmas story from Luke. And so it'll be in the community room on the second floor. So if you're interested in going to hear the Christmas story read, then by all means do that. Now, the Alan Shep Trine exhibit is still, on, is still going on at the museum until the 17th of January. Now, on the 17th will be, and I'm loving it, I am, I'm using my Bradley Essential here for a calendar for, to get us through January. And so, on um, the 17th at 6 p.m. will be a walkthrough uh, to see the serpentine chain. Uh, all the watercolors that, that Alan has done that are there, they're beautiful. And the exhibit is on display through, through the 17th. Admission is free for museum members and $15 for non-members. And I've told you all before, folks, it's real simple and real easy to join the museum. I believe an individual membership is $35. And if you sign up for several things that are going on at the museum throughout the year, you will have saved $35 by being a member. Also, you get a 10% discount in the gift shop. So that is something that you may want to be aware of. Um, the annual Bach Lunch and Concert Series, the final one for this Advent season, is Wednesday, December the 19th. And that is at noon at St. Luke's. And Christian Mann from Walker Valley High School will be the entertainer for that. I understand he plays the guitar and sings. It should, it should be a beautiful service. And a light lunch is available as part of the event. Now, Broad Street United Methodist Church will have three, three services on Christmas Eve. The 4 o'clock service is a traditional service in the sanctuary with carols, readings, communion, and the blessing of the babies. It's a beautiful service, folks, at 4 o'clock. Then at 7 o'clock, again, in the sanctuary, is a contemporary Christmas Eve service with our Connections Band in charge of that service. And then at 11 o'clock is another traditional service in the sanctuary, and it's called the Midnight Service because you really won't get out of there until midnight. So those three services, excuse me, are available at Broad Street Church 4, 7, and 11. Um, and you don't have to be a member of Broad Street to come. We have people from all over the community that come. For the 11 o'clock service, a lot of times we have to put in extra seating, which is fine. 
Um, but it's it's a beautiful service, and we have the uh, we serve communion at all three services, and uh, the random bell ring is at the eleven o'clock service. Uh, there's going to be a student watercolor auction on Tuesday night, January the eighth, at the museum center from six to eight. Now I think I told you about this before. Alan Shreptrine had the museum had opportunities for students in our city and county schools and some of our private schools to enter their art in a contest. And then Alan selected what he thought were the best of, of the groups. And those are, have been on display at the museum, but those and others will be auctioned off that night with the money from that going back to the schools that participated. So that is December, I mean, I'm sorry, that is January the 8th at the museum. And uh, I will not be on TV before then to tell you all about it. So go to museumcenter.org and check that out because it is open to the public. And some of you parents and, grand and grandparents may want to be there to buy your child's watercolor, which you should do. Uh, and if, if I'm there, I may buy your child's watercolor. And um, then on January the 18th, Fola Palooza is going to happen. I know nothing. I know nothing about, they just said save the date, Fola Palooza, January the 18th. So hopefully I will find out something about that coming up. Now on the 13th, on Sunday, uh, of Jan 13th of January, the Cleveland Bridal Show from 10 until 6 at the Museum Center again. So glad people are utilizing our Museum, museum Center. Um, this year's theme is the Greek Mythology Forever Love. And uh, th there'll be cakes and catering. There'll be formal wear. There'll be all kinds of things that a bride may want to look at when planning her wedding. I'm sure there'll be somebody there offering ha invitations, pho photography, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the 13th at the museum from 10 until 5. And uh, so I hope everybody will get there for that. Then at the museum again, the 26th of January is brouhaha. Uh, which has turned out to be very, very exciting. Now, this is one time when being a member of the museum won't really save you any money because it's $35. Well, it will. It'll save you $15. It's $35 for non-members. For members, I'm sorry, $35 for members, $50 for non-members. So you would save $15. But that is, that is on the Saturday, the 26th. And on the 27th is the 15th annual Grape Escape which um, is at Cafe Roma, and um, the admission is pricey for that one. Uh, it's a fundraiser for the museum. Uh, the admission is $110 for members and $135 for non-members. Here again, www.museumcenter.org. And then on February the 1st, and I will get, get Dwight Richardson in here to talk to us about this, the world-famous Glenn Miller Orchestra will be back at the Country Club we had them here last year. It was such a huge turnout, and everybody had such a great time. Uh, and this is sponsored by the Allied Arts Council of the Cleveland Bradley Chamber of Commerce. And we will have, um, there will be an, a 45 minutes of ballroom instruction, if anybody's interested. Jack and, and Ollie Hall will show us, and, and that, folks, they are awesome. So they will show us how to do ballroom dancing. And, um, and then they will d do a little teaching if you want to learn. And so that's about all I know of that's happening, folks. Um, I think that um, a lot of people have gone over to North Carolina to ride the Polar Express, which I think is awesome. Um, we have um, the uh, Tennessee Valley Rail had some Santa events. I'm quite sure those are full by now. Uh, but you can always go online to capital T, capital V, Tennessee Valley, rail, capital R, and then little A-I-L, dot com, and check out and see what they have going because they, they always have some things going on the Hiawassee High, River Rail. Uh, there's a phone number, 894-8028, if you want to call them. Uh, again, I need to have someone from there come back on and tell us about what they're what they're hosting for this uh, 2019. Can you believe that, folks? 2019. And then FOLA constantly has the uh, silent auction of rare and antique books going on during the library hours. So, uh, and those books change out every month. So, 
So you can uh, be aware of that that's going on. And like I say, folks, I will not be back on the air with you. So write these down. January the 10th is the old Christmas at the museum uh, starting at 6 o'clock. Free to museum members, $5 for non-members. The 12th is Appalachian Family Day from 10 until 3, and that's a Saturday. And you'll be doing all kinds of events and everything. Uh, again, free to... Uh, no, I'm not going to say that because I'm not really sure that that's right. And and those two days, I will not be back in time to do that. But hopefully I will be back with you about the 14th of January. I'm going to take a little time off, a little uh, a little time to just kind of catch my breath and maybe do some fun things. So uh, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. And I hope that 2019 is a very healthy and prosper prosperous and happy new year for all of you all. And I will see you, I will be back here next year in 2019. So for today, folks, from Nancy's Neighborhood, this is bye-bye.